As one of the country's leading centers for the diagnosis and treatment of epilepsy and seizure disorder, the Henry Ford Neuroscience Institute offers patients a comprehensive evaluation of their epilepsy inside Henry Ford Hospital or Henry Ford West Bloomfield Hospital. This evaluation is done inside each hospital's epilepsy monitoring unit or EMU. It is a critical component to the diagnosis and treatment of epilepsy and seizure disorder and a reason why Henry Ford is considered a level 4 epilepsy center, the highest certification in accordance with the National Association of Epilepsy Centers guidelines for patient care. You have been admitted to the EMU by an epileptologist, neurologist, or other referring physician, either for diagnostic reasons or for pre-surgical evaluation. The goal of this admission is to monitor you during a seizure. All of the physicians in the EMU who will be handling your case specialize in epilepsy and are a part of the same Henry Ford Comprehensive Epilepsy Program. Every effort over the next several days will be made to create the ideal and safe environment for you to have this event in an effort to help us better treat your epilepsy. Upon arrival to Henry Ford Hospital, you will go to the waiting area on the fifth floor of the main hospital building. At Henry Ford West Bloomfield Hospital, this is located in the Acorn Building, Garden Level. At Henry Ford Hospital, the patient will be escorted to a special care unit with seven private rooms. At Henry Ford West Bloomfield, this special care unit has four private rooms. Each room is equipped with a video camera, microphone, and special EEG equipment that records brain activity and changes in your behavior. Shortly after your arrival to the unit, technicians will place EEG electrodes on your scalp to record your brain waves. The camera is recording continuously, allowing us to videotape your seizures. We advise you to stay in the EMU room at all times except for additional testing. You will be monitored 24-7 from a nearby monitoring station. When you are in the EMU, you may wear your own clothes or wear a supplied gown. If you do wear your own clothing, all tops must have buttons down the front. We ask that you wash your hair before you come to the hospital, but do not use any gels, oils, or conditioners on your hair. During your stay, you will not be allowed to shower while electrodes are in place. On admission and every day, you will be assessed by EMU support staff, a nurse practitioner, and staff epileptologist. We encourage you to bring a current medication list at the time of admission so that we can fully document your medications and dosage. We also will need to know if there is anything that seems to trigger a seizure. Various maneuvers which include sleep deprivation, hyperventilation, photic stimulation, and reduction of your epilepsy medications, if any, at the discretion of staff epileptologist, may be performed during the stay to provoke seizures. We encourage you to keep yourself active during this hospitalization by using the low-set bedside exercise bike while under the supervision that we provide. We also suggest having a family member stay in the room with you as much as possible. Throughout the EMU evaluation, you are limited to your hospital room. To help pass the time, we suggest that you bring things such as puzzles, books, magazines, card games, handheld computer games, and DVDs. We provide a DVD player, but our supply of movies is limited. There is also a cabinet of games, toys, and puzzles for both children and adults. A strict no-smoking policy is in place at both hospitals. Our team will need intravenous or IV access. This means a special tube will be placed in a primary vein in your arm. This IV will be necessary throughout your stay for the emergency administration of medications. This also will allow your blood to be drawn so doctors can check your medicine levels and administer lab tests as appropriate. During your stay on the unit, we may drop or discontinue your epilepsy medication to provoke seizures. Both the patient and their family are encouraged to initiate the event marker at the earliest sign of the patient's typical seizures. Whatever type of seizure you experience, registered nurses, healthcare partners, and EEG technologists are always here to monitor your seizures and make sure that you are as safe as possible when one occurs. If you are admitted for pre-surgical evaluation, a drug called Neurolite is injected into your arm through your IV at the beginning of a seizure. This drug is needed so the area of the brain that draws more blood flow during a seizure can be seen by a SPECT camera. Your safety is our priority. Although there is 24-7 monitoring, the risk of an injury does exist if requested precautions are ignored. Adequate assistance may be requested while you are getting up or using the bathroom. The door will be fully or partially opened while you are alone in the room. If required, a sitter may accompany the patient who is combative, agitated, or has physical difficulties. 
If indicated, neuropsychological evaluation may be performed in the EMU room during the hospital stay. During this evaluation, a neuropsychologist administers a battery of tests for approximately four to six hours. Visitors are not allowed during this time. If you are admitted for repeat monitoring for phase two evaluation, electrodes are inserted directly onto or into the patient's brain to monitor brain activity with more detail. In this case, pulling on the electrodes can be dangerous. We may require that a family member stay with you during the monitoring period if we feel you might hurt yourself by accident. When a pediatric patient is monitored in the EMU, a parent or other adult family member must stay during the entire evaluation. For both types of patients, the average hospital stay could range from 4 to 10 days, up to 2 to 3 weeks, or shorter depending on the amount of information gathered. We cannot discharge a patient until we feel they are stable or are back on the appropriate medications. On discharge, you will be sent home on the medications as recommended by the EMU staff. You will be given instructions regarding the follow-up clinic appointments and further testing if necessary. You also will be informed about the Michigan State driving restrictions. You have completed a very important part in the diagnosis and management of your epilepsy or seizure disorder. However long, your stay in the Henry Ford Epilepsy Monitoring Unit will give your doctors critical information to help you live a productive and healthy life.